Yeah. 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 I ain't no celebrity nigga. Yeah. They don't know me, they know the music. I was never a good student. But look at what I do with the computer. I'm cracking with a couple noodles. The devil works hard, I salute him. Mr. Jiggy Jigger, the coolest kid in Africa, Mr. Strings and Bling. And I come here to tell you guys to look out for this dope, inspirational interview on People's Magazine, both digital and print. It's amazing. It'll probably grow a lot of people if you read it attentively and focus on what I'm saying. And also, go get the album, man. Strings and Bling out everywhere. Go get it. It's a vibe. Go get that. Tour coming soon. 28th of July kicks off in Kenya. I also have a concert, The Strings of Bling. I'll be performing the brand new album from top to bottom at Zone 6 on the 3rd of August. I'll see you there. Okay. Hey man, how you doing, Nasty? Doing good, man. Good, good, man. Uh, so, I mean, your sophomore, your sophomore album's finally out, um, Strings yeah. and Blings. Yes. It's just under a week now. How are you feeling, man? I feel amazing, man. It's doing so good. Yeah. The reception is insane. It's everything I, I wanted for yeah. the album. And more. Okay, so your last two projects, right? I mean, there was Prize City and then there was uh, Bad Hair. Mm. And I felt like Prize City obviously was kind of like your introduction to the game. Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people knew you of Prize City. And Bad Hair, uh, I think we kind of got to know Nasty a bit more, like just yeah. a continuation from Prize City. Yeah. So, what is your mindset or approach to, to your new album, uh, Strings and Blame? Um, this album, I was just applying everything that I've learned. Like over the years, you know, like like when it comes to dealing with people, um, relationships, just like how I speak about myself, not being afraid to to be open and vulnerable on, on joints that that I would have been, you know, afraid to do like four years ago because yes. because I'd, I'd always I'd always worry about what people say about me after they listen to the song because yeah. it feels like you just told somebody something very personal yeah. and people just listen to it and. You know, they judge you, or they say some shit, like, or they, they, they yeah. say something, like, that might yeah. tear you up inside, you know? And now I'm at a point where I don't care about none of that stuff. Now, for me, it's more about expressing myself and making sure that I get the message across as best as I can, so that whoever listens to it that relates feels the pain, you know? As much as, as much as, well, they know that I feel the pain as much as they do. Okay, okay. So how, how long did it take you to put together uh, the project? Um, the, f the, the oldest song on the project is from, from a year ago, if not two years ago. Okay. Yeah, my baby. That's the oldest song on the, on the thing. I had this song for a while. For real? Yeah. So uh, like in between that time from recording uh, My Baby and, and obviously up until the last song uh, you made for the album, how many songs did you record all in all? You know, before obviously breaking it down to like a full body work. Oh, so many, but yeah, yeah, there's no, it's hundreds of songs. Mm. There's a lot of songs. I have so many songs. Even this is even without the ones that I lost with my laptop. I have tons of music. So you lost, a, you you actually lost a few songs. A lot of songs. I lost about four albums worth of music. A flip. Yeah. That's a lot, eh? That's a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So I mean, listening to this album, man, I feel like there's a lot of growth yeah. in terms of you as an artist, you know what I mean? I think rapping, there's no question that you can rap. I think you've like proved countless of times yeah. that you can rap, you know? And, and listening to the album, I feel like one thing I must commend you on is the fact that you don't try and like make the same sound as you did before. Because I feel like yeah. you could have easily given people a juice bag, you know, or a hell yeah. now. Because I mean, yeah. I believe you can do that. Like you have that in you. But you kind of took a different approach, you know what I mean? I think even from your flow, just everything has just changed and there's a lot of growth. Yeah. Were, weren't you a bit skeptical, you know, in terms of putting out some of the songs? Because it's not necessarily a sound yeah, that, that we've people, heard yeah, from, yeah. from Nasty True. before, you know what I mean? At first, at first I was. Like there's a song on there um, called Everything. I actually wanted to ask you about because that's actually yeah. one of my favorite songs. Like, Strings yeah, and see, bling and everything. Yeah, you see, I was yeah. I was a little afraid to put out something like that like a year ago, right? Up until I started reading all these all these books, um, getting all this knowledge, and just like working on myself as yeah. a person, you know. And I just started just go, just a 
ton load of confidence after that, yeah. and just like believing in myself and and what I what I like the music I like. So I'm not putting out music that I think you like. I'm putting out music that I like. If you like it, I it's obviously like a, yeah, a huge bonus. Yeah. 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 So that's one of those songs that I was very skeptical. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.